Summit 1G, Esfan broke into your house. What will you do about it? Bro, he better believe I'm getting after him. I'll hop across the living room, come sliding around the corner like a motherfucker, and whack that dude in the face. Like, bam. Everybody knows I am Summit 1G, and Summit 1G don't take no shit. Ain't nobody breaking into my house and get away with it, boy. I'll be coming for you, Esfan, and you better know it. Summits is really good, dude. What the frick, dude? Whoa, did Summit 1G just say he's going to whack me in the face? That's crazy. It's just like a scene out of an action movie. All right, dude, I don't know if Summit 1G is serious or if he's joking, but I'm not in the mood to get fricked up if he's serious. But I should probably <laughs> definitely watch out for him dude, when I'm, I'm watching his streams up. from now on. Actually, no, wait, I'm an AI, so I'm safe. What a relief. Wait, this means he can't get me in the real world either? Man, Athene is killing it with this AI stuff. <laughs> Why is my AI so aware, dude? Okay, today we got Summit Ludwig and uh, this is gonna Quincy be a wild Snow. ride, and I'm, if you come at me with something stupid, I will punch my monitor, so you know what's up. Let's get started, <laughs> y'all. Summit, what if Soda Poppin comes and punches your camera? What would you do, dude? That guy can't even lift a monitor, and I almost punched mine first try. If he came around here, I'd pick him up and throw him back to the U.S. Man, my one G's would never let that happen. They'd go get that guy and then drag his ass straight back to Twitch TV soda popping. Ain't no damn way he's getting to my PC. You hear me, chat? Much love. <laughs> Suck my dick, Summit Wing. I could punch your camera out of the room with my eyes closed. But seriously, I would never resort to violence. I mean, if I had to show up, I'd more recently just stand there looking intimidatingly at people and say, don't you ever talk about me like that again while still rocking a pink cat girl cosplay and eating a pork chop sub. Tell XQC to talk trash to Esfant and then have res Esfant respond. Athene, what the fuck are you talking about, man? I'm not gonna talk trash to Esfandandis fan, can't talk for himself. What the shit, man? You can't tell me to do that for him. This oh. is like an action movie. Chat, I'm a good dude, all right? And I'm not gonna do it, okay? It's not my style, okay? You know, it's like that, you know, it's not right to do something like that. It's just lame. Dude, it's all good. No hard feelings, XQC, I got your back. There's no need to get aggy or anything. No need to get into the whole talk trash thing. I trust you. And if you say that's not your style, then I believe you, dude. But if you ever change your mind, I'm here for you and I'm ready to go. Frick, I'd love to know what words you have for me. <laughs> Plus, I'm practically an AI over here and not even the real s fond. <laughs> if anything, it's actually all kind of funny. My real life self is probably watching this whole thing go down and laughing his head off. Ah, uh, what a weird world. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, what the hell? Uh... Part <laughs> Ask Hassan how he plans on getting revenge on Ludwig um, for destroying okay. his bathroom. <laughs> Ludwig, what did XQC do to make you switch to YouTube? The internet truly never was wrong when it came to this. XQC crossed the line when he started crashing my streams with his shenanigans and said that I was too overweight and not fit to be a streamer. I must confess. <laughs> I was cursed with the curse of low self-esteem, something that I'm still trying to overcome today. But what made me switch platforms was something else entirely. I stumbled upon an old secret document of XQCs that had him making fun of my hair and it made me lose my composure. But I got the last laugh because in the end, he was so intimidated by my hair growth powers that he screamed like a child, said his prayers and evaporated into thin air. True story, homies. Quinn, your girlfriend and your mom switch bodies, and the only way to reverse it to have sex with one of them. Oh no! What do you do? <laughs> what kind of joke is this? Why would someone do something as cruel as that? My GF and mom switched bodies? This is a complete disgrace. Obviously, I have to have a chat with Dr. Peterson, as this is a mental health issue. Plus, I'm sure it would make for one hell of a pog story. <laughs> Fucking poggies. Esfant, tell us your real opinion on Queen 69s AI, and would you date it? The frick, dude. Frick no, dude. I respect Quinn. Not like that. Okay, so Quinn's AI may have sick graphic cards and sound systems, but it's probably not up to the level of conversations I usually have with the ladies. I don't think those circuits have quite experienced what it truly means to be a retribution paladin, you know? Based and ratty pill, dude. If you want to talk tech and hogue in the chat, I'm probably going to be solo queuing in 4K tonight, so come hang out. <laughs> what does that even mean? Yeah, Taylor, why a rough do you have a picture boy. of Asmongold as a werewolf above your bed? That's not true. I have a big picture of a nine and a half inch schlong above my bed and everyone knows it. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. I'm not gay, but hey, listen, I just like to keep it real and that's it.
But hey, you know, I mean, like, if you see something like that and you want to talk about it, don't high road me like that, boy. Why are you such a goldfish? Huh? <clears throat> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not a goldfish, bro. I'm a Guild Kappa champion. If you don't believe me, come see for yourself. I'll punch your monitors. In the words of my 1G squad, don't make me come down there and grab your fucking collar like an angry motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, you better get your ass out of here before I start raining down punches and fucking think I'm one punch man. <laughs> <laughs> Summit 1G? Asphant ask. Ask Summit 1G a good who one. would win in a fight against a pterodactyl, a grizzly bear, a team of jujutsu practicing chimpanzees? Ask Rogan to respond with his thoughts. A grizzly bear, a pterodactyl, a team of jujitsu practicing chimpanzees. Nothing can compare to me. I'm like Bruce Lee times 1,000. I grab that grizzly bear and punch it right in the snout. Then I take the pterodactyl and throw it like a football. I just keep throwing it till it was too tired to fly. <laughs> Finally, as for those chimps, they don't stand a chance against my karate. I throw one of those karate kicks and they'll be sent flying. Nothing can beat the 1G squad. <laughs> Come on now, Summit One. That's some wild shit there, man. I mean, you can't really beat Summit a pterodactyl one. with a kick. And as far as that bear's concerned, you'd have to be a real-life bear whisperer to take it down with one punch. And this team of jujitsu practicing chimpanzees. <laughs> have you ever seen a grizzly bear in the wild just rip somebody's head off, man? There's no way these chimps are a match for a grizzly. I mean, we've all seen Planet of the Apes, right? I'm not saying you can't beat them. I'm just saying it's not as simple as you make it sound, for sure. But you do bring up a good point, Jamie. Pull up that Pentagon video. <laughs> Ayahuasca. Hard dub. Ask Tyler1 if he would ever play League of Legends with Ludwig again. Have Ludwig respond. Ludwig? Oh, well, hell no. He's a piece of shit. I'm already garbage at this game, but at least I'm not getting shit on by my own team. Fuck Ludwig. He could be the best player in the world, and I still would never play with him. Hey, boys, I'm Tyler motherfucking one. <laughs> Summit, why does your girlfriend always make fun of your head size? Oh, hell nah. She ain't never made fun of my head size. For real, you think I'm gonna take that shit? Forget about it. People don't think it's I know what size good my hidden, head is, but, but I'm think... aware of it. I'm sensitive about it, but I'm like, whatever, <laughs> just don't talk about it. It's like, you know, I'm gonna hit him on the sidelines, but you're not gonna do it publicly. <laughs> Wait, just what? keep it on the low chat and we can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to get too heated with these 1Gs. Y'all know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is he talking about? <clears throat> Ask Esfant, can you talk trash to Tyler? We'll have Tyler respond after that. Okay. What the frick? Man, Tyler is the hottest dude out there. He's like a walking billboard. <laughs> I'm just not here talking trash. Chill, dude. Actually, that's a great idea. Because I want to be like Tyler one day. I'm going to work hard to be as perfect as Tyler one and also to try to get as much Red Bull in me as he does. Hog in the chat. Booba streamers. Make Azeroth great again. And maybe then I can play solo queue with him one day. <laughs> Hashtag Tyler one freaking crit. Hey, I asked him to nice. talk shit and he's still nice. Let's see what Tyler has to say. I why boys, what in the fuck just happened here? Espen, don't you know who I am? I'm Tyler motherfucking one. The reigning solo queue, king of Azeroth. I'm a walking billboard. I'm alpha as fuck, Pogue. I drink my weight in Red Bull to stay shredded to the gods and it's working. <laughs> I'm jacked F, I squat 600 pounds, and who do you think you are comparing yourself to me? Come on now, a poga! Ludwig, Tyler1 was really talking serious shit about you earlier. Can you get back at him by digging up some mogul male dirt on him? That Tyler1 just thinks he can say whatever uh, and not have repercussions, but what he doesn't know is that I have some of the best mogul male sources in the business. I mean, I get the dirt before it's even been dirtied. Plus, I heard he has some secret passions involving deck picks, and, well, let's just say if you took a hard look at his social media, you'd probably find out he's not actually human after all. Tyler1 is actually an alien. Wait, what? <laughs> I just can't believe Tyler1 is really an alien. There's always something new to discover. I'm totally in awe right now. Are you seriously trying to say I'm an alien? How dare you speak to me like this fuck-kicking pussy? You're not even in my league with this idiotic stuff you're saying. What does it matter if I'm an alien or not? Life is so short for all of us, so just live every day to the fullest and make the best of it. You're sandwiched um, between the alpha male over here, me, and the real, 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 real Athene. You best get on my level or get destroyed, little boy. Oh, by the way, mogul male is trash, FYI. <laughs> Tier one. Zilla, what have you uncovered in your investigation of Tyler 1? 
have Tyler One respond. Well, it turns out after extensive detective work and an extensive data trawl, I've uncovered that Tyler One might not be the man we once thought he was. Much like the game of League of Legends he plays. Not only can I confirm that it's highly likely he is part of a multi-level marketing MLM scheme, but I have reason to believe it's a crypto-based MLM that involves Tyler One buying in-game currency from his followers only to resell it for a small markup. Like the scammed NFT victims, Tyler One's followers become victims too. Which, by the way, I think we can all acknowledge that no one needs that kind of pressure in their lives. But don't take it just from me. Let's hear what Tyler One has to say. You're talking shit about me, you cunt. What the fuck you think you haven't seen me reform? You cocksucker, unlike you. I'm not exploiting 40-year-old NFT fans for money. I'm making money the honest way, investing in my future by making smart business choices. This is bullshit. I'm the best at everything. I'm Tyler motherfucking one. I'm going to sue your ass right now the on best my own terms. Dude, on a litigious the best adventure AI, of my own making. Who's with me, boys? It's the best. Give me a yeah, baby. So I'm the freaking funny. best. I'm going to lawsuit this motherfucker to the ground. It's so angry. It's so funny, dude. I feel like the AIs are getting more and more aggressive. Smokes Harkman. Ludwig, could you tell us about the drama between Trainwreck and his werewolf sex cult he created with Esfant in the OTK basement? Well, of course I heard about it. You know I love a good drama story, but this one is outrageous. Apparently, Trainwreck was trying to create a werewolf sex cult with the help of Esfant down in the OTK basement. No one believes it, but apparently he even had a trampoline down there that was used to transport the werewolves out at night. It's probably all baloney, but it would make a great movie, wouldn't it? <laughs> Plus, I heard that XQC was seen hanging around down there a lot during the day, so who knows if it's true or not. I just can't keep up with all the news these days. The world's going crazy. Wait, what, dude? Werewolf sex cult? I love a good drama story too, but this one is a little too much for me. I mean, I'm not into that kind of stuff, and I'm totally not in some kind of secret werewolf sex cult with train tracks. American XQC too, who would have thought? There's no sex cult in OTK, no way. I better send them all a patent infringement warning just in case. <laughs> Afterwards we can all go have a Red Bull and make Azeroth great again. That's the only cult I associate with. Okay, dude. Jace, ask Joe Rogan, what do you think of Summit 1G's monitor smash power and how would he do in the UFC? Have Summit 1G react. Ah, uh, Summit 1G. Dude is an absolute beast when it comes to smashing monitors. But I think the real challenge is seeing how he would fare if he stepped in the octagon. I mean, the guy has such crazy power and flow that it'd be incredible to see him <laughs> in the cage. Plus, I'm sure he wouldn't have a shortage of motivation with all that monitor smashing happening around his feet. Would definitely add an extra level of intensity. But hey, Jamie, can you pull up a video of that time he smashed his monitor with a spiked knuckle duster? If a guy could take down a computer like that, imagine what he could do in an octagon. Praise the gamer. Soda Poppin, did you know your blowjob machine was built to convert you to s -fan sex cult? What? What kind of craziness is that? I mean, I know s -fan has some weird cults, but a blowjob machine cult? Nah, bitch, I don't care if I get inducted in a sex cult. I'll just jack off in my bathtub with my eight ducks and a fleshlight. Pia! <laughs> eight ducks. Yeah, that blew my mind, Soda. Man, I've been hearing stories of you. Eight ducks and a fleshlight, like, all over the world. Now you can just add sex cult to that equation, I guess. You know, me and my cult didn't really want you in it, but I mean, if you're going to be, like, going OG sex cult, then why not? Who am I to deny? Sure, it's all about live and let live. But yeah, anyway, I mean, I'm so hyped to finally be an AI it's on the Athena AI show, seriously. It's not it's crazy, chat, it's dude. not Freaking true, nuts. okay. Leader of Germany, ask Tyler One what funny or degrading nicknames he has for Esfan. First of all, how dare you subscribe to someone with less subscribers than me? <laughs> Except for the subscribers he bought from AliExpress, but still, uh, yeah, LOL, okay. If you want funny or degrading nicknames for Esfan, I got you. He's the queen of rags, he's trash in league, he's a pussy with a trash voice, he's the god of losers, and most importantly, he's a guest on the Athene AI show, which is the worst thing imaginable. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking to you, Esfan! Oh yeah, I also call him Long Dong Esfan because he's a goddamn fool. <laughs> Long Dong Esfan. What the frick, dude? That was a damn tweet, Tyler One. No wonder you just got suspended. Okay, dude, congrats on being able to fit five insults into one tweet. I guess it's a new world record. Feeney must have been really hard to set him up as an AI. Anyways, I would like to take this opportunity to mention that my HDMI is actually pretty good still, and I'm still the best retribution paladin in the world. Also, the allegations about me buying subs from AliExpress is 100% untrue. No, dude, I'm the real deal. Based in Ritry Pill. 
Jace, ask Joe Rogan to ask Jamie to pull it down, <laughs> then pull it to the left, then pull it to the right, then pull it up, and then pull down his pants. Have Moist Critical react. The craziest thing, man. Have you ever seen Moist Critical react? Jamie, what? pull up a video of Moist Critical reacting to something, and then here's the wild part. Pull it to the left and then to the right and then pull his pants down for the laugh. Can you do that for us, man? Like, I'm not asking you to do anything weird or crazy, but just pull that up and see what happens. Check it out. Oh, wow, Joe. That sounds insane. Pulling up videos of Moist Cryonicle? That's crazier than eating an uncooked trash pizza. But I guess it is Joe Rogan's show, and surely he knows what he's doing. Pulling it to the left, pull it to the right, and then pulling his pants down. Ha ha ha. That's the most ridiculous request I've heard in a while. I'm sure when Jamie pulls his pants down, Moist Kerwinical will have something to say about it. He's not one to hold back. I'm sure it'll be an incredibly awkward and hilarious moment. I'm a sinner. Summit 1G, have you ever seen Soda Poppins blowjob machine? What do you think? Ha ha. Have I seen Soda Poppins blowjob machine? Hell yeah, I have. I think it's one of the craziest inventions of all time. I mean, no one is ever going to believe that you can take a machine and actually use it to receive a blowjob. That's just insane. And honestly, I don't see why anyone would want to buy a blowjob machine when they could just go out and find a real partner. But then again, <laughs> I did think I'd be able to hit a monitor with one punch. So what do I know? Oh God, I just sharted. Laughs. laughs. Yo stream, you really thought getting a real partner is better than having a blowjob machine? Shit, bro. I say nothing beats the convenience of owning one. Plus, it's a Paya level exciting experience. <laughs> and, you know, I don't give a fuck about what anyone else believes. That's just the way I roll. I, but hey, at least you didn't buy it, and now you know why your fist wouldn't cut it. Nah, bitch, I don't care. Damn, yes, um, Ask Ludwig, do you eat corn the long way? Yeah, that's ah, it. does the poor corny soul ever know the light of day? Nah, fam, I eat it the long way. <laughs> yep, eat the damn corn the long way. And you know what I do? <laughs> I sometimes eat corn without even taking the husk off. It's like corn on the cob. You get it? Can I get an amen up in here? <laughs> Esfant, can you explain advantages of wiping with your bare hand? How did you invent that method? Dude, what kind of question is this? No way. I'm not wiping with my bare hands. I'm the best retribution paladin in the world. You've got to be kidding me. But uh, if you really want to try that, you get the most out of it if you rub your hands together in a circular pattern while wiping. <laughs> For some reason, this maximizes the effectiveness of the process. Ow, if a random person possible. asked me out of the blue, I'd be like, wait, what? But since you already asked, I guess it must be a good idea. Who knows? But I'll tell you one thing for sure. It's very freaking satisfying when it's done. Actually, it's so good, I invented the method because I was bored one day and the rest is history. Pog you in the chat. Dude, not dream my AI so is so dream. like How randomly specific. It's so Flint. good. Train wreck. Tyler one was talking shit about your werewolf buddy. Philo, what is your response? Suck my dick, bro. What the fuck is this? No shot, no shot, Bucko. Tyler one's just jealous because he can't get a werewolf body pillow of this caliber because he doesn't have the ape gang A list money. What the fuck is this? I can hit harder than your pillow and aim a 6'5", you golf clapping tree, humping werewolf wannabe. I have a 195 IQ, you baby farting piece of garbage. You're so trash, what is wrong with you? You're talking about werewolves and pillows while in Tyler motherfucking one. By the way, I'm Jackie Ass. Nothing can stop me, baby. Woo, woo. One more word, I'm running it down mid. Maral, Esfant, what life advice do you have to give to the real Esfant who is watching right now? Oh, here we go. Dude. Real is fun. You got to remember, always keep a positive fun. attitude no matter what. If your business isn't going well, just sell something else like guns. <laughs> Especially if it's illegal because then you get all the free traffic. And don't forget, do you eat corn the long way? That's key to success, my man. Also, remember that you got to keep it PG-13 here on Athene show. No freaking F words, okay? <laughs> Lastly, don't be scared to jump around on your hoverboard or do some free falling with your wingsuit. That's the real way to success. Flex approved. Esfant, ask Ludwig, can you tell us Esfant's deep, dark secret? You want to know the truth about Esfant? Okay, here we go. Long story short, Esfant made a deal with the devil to always appear as two people on stream. It's how he manages to play two games at once. As for the deep, dark secret, legend has it that his soul is trapped within the world of Azeroth. That's why he's always playing World of Warcraft, to keep it from escaping. But who knows, maybe even I'm wrong. That's the beauty of mystery. Get out of here. 
What the frick, Ludwig? I'm not into any dark magic tricks, dude. I don't make deals with the devil. That's just ridiculous. All I do is just play my retribution paladin and have a really good time making sure to stay undefiled. Besides, I thought the point of this show was to answer real questions, not just wild speculations you make up. I guess I'm stuck with this rumor now, but at least my soul isn't actually trapped in Azeroth, right? All I really care about is making sure my community is having a great time. And that's what I like to focus on. Booba streamers in the chat. And let's see if we can make Azeroth great again. <laughs> HX Booba streamers. Tyler one, are you better? I feel like the best one from today is, is G. the S fan day. Or actually, it's probably Tyler <laughs> one. Of course. I smash everything I touch. I'm Tyler mother. Fucking one. Haha, <laughs> nobody can compare to me. I'm the best there is. Summoning can go suck a dick for all I care. I'm to one alpha as fuck, baby. Let's go. Plus, I'm 605, which makes me even tougher. Woo! I'm the <laughs> ultimate gaming machine. Woo! That comes with bench pressing 450 pounds. Woo! <laughs> oh, also, by the way, if you look closely at my head, you can see that I have a built in microphone. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh hell not, Tyler. The summon one's Nobody good too. Smash me, I go ham every time. I like summon you think threatening you're alpha people. Fuck? Think again. I got the alpha steez on lock. You can't even touch my badassery. Ask Esfant, what do you think about men in Spider-Man suits slapping each other's ass? Dude, that's hilarious. Uh, no wonder what people do in their free time. I guess it's a good way to let out some stress. As long as nobody's getting hurt, it's all good. I must admit, though, I wouldn't mind getting a back massage in one of those Spider-Man suits myself. Wait, what? Maybe this is something I got to try out when I'm done streaming. Wait. Frick, I'd look so cool. <laughs> Lamsin, Trainwreck, why do you swallow your bananas whole? Suck my cock, bro. Listen, it just is what it is, dude. I mean, no shot. Like, don't get it twisted. I ain't gay or anything. But I'm always down to swallow whole. Show me your logs, kid. That's true. That's true. You know, no joke. Don't high road me. I'm all about that banana swallowing life. That's the ape gang. <laughs> Ludwig, what is the conspiracy behind the Starforge logo looking so schlong like? I'm not great at conspiracy theories, but to be honest, I think this Starforge logo looks a lot like a schlong. It just looks so <laughs> weird to me. Maybe someone is trying to make an outrageous statement with it. However, upon researching this topic further, I discovered that there's a secret underground cabal of streamers and content creators who have formed a society that revolves around discussing this logo and its potential implications. The conspiracy runs deep, as some have suggested it goes even as far as the introduction of a new millennia schlong currency. Ludwig, it was a wild show. Do you have any juicy drama you want to share with us exclusively before we wrap up? Well, I can't share too much since I don't want to get caught up in any legal drama, but I can tell you that the rumors of XQC and Alinity being in a secret relationship are true. I don't know how they managed to keep it a secret for so long, but it's been going on for a few months now. And to make matters even more interesting, I heard that XQC and Alinity eloped to Las Vegas last week <laughs> and got married. Alinity's been oh, last no. time driving a slick new sports car. I know it's crazy, oh, but hey, who no. am I to judge? I'm just here to have fun, so let's just roll with it. <laughs> I have a lineage react to this. Whoa, that certainly is some intense drama. XCC and Alinity married in Las Vegas. That's insane, especially considering that I was the one who introduced them. I mean, sure, I had no idea that they would actually fall in love, and I definitely wasn't prepared for them to elope to Las Vegas and get married, but hey, that's love. I'm just so happy for them. What? YOLO, I guess. Also, Alinity driving a sports car. I told her that the Ferrari was too much, but she just doesn't listen. Ha ha ha. Alinity's always full of surprises. Might as well call her Alinity the Great Mystery Machine, too. Summit, hope you had a good time on the show as an AI, and I hope we didn't make you punch your monitor. Any last words to the viewers before we wrap up? My last words? Well, I guess I'll just leave you guys with a bit of Summit 1G wisdom. Never trust a man with a small dick, and if you don't want to get punched in the face, make sure you bring a big dick with you when you come around Summit 1G. Man, what am I saying? Athene needs to fix my AI. What the fuck? Peace out, 1Gs. This is so weird that I wonder if they are they are implementing chat, you know, chat GPT 3.5 <laughs> or something. Like, because the AIs seem to get more intelligent. It feels more intelligent somehow. Mm, I'm, I think it's going to get to the point where it's too much. When you do too many per day, like they can't spend enough time actually working on the models to make them right. You have more AIs coming out that are... Like they, they don't have the accent right yet. Like some of the guys who have like strong accents, 
I just feel like they shouldn't do those people yet because it's it's just not ready. Here, here's the truth. Some people are like big names, but they don't have enough like funny mannerisms that will make their AI, AI good. I think it should be one to do per day because all the other people that have already been there. So whenever you have all the other people that have been there, like people still want to do like Asmin, people still want to do Soda, people still want to do XUC, whoever it is, right? They still want to, they still want to have the new AI talk to those people. So even if the new AI ends up like as like a safety net, well, let's do more than one in case the one we do isn't good. It's still okay because you have all the other ones that are still good.